Hello Cancer and welcome to your December reading. So, um, for the special solstice and Christmas, I'm doing another contest, giveaway of a free reading. And this time I'm going to pick among, of course, the subscribers, but the ones that comment, that left a comment. So it's going to give you more chances to uh, win. All right. So I've meditated on your energy, Cancer. And what Spirit wants to talk to you about for the month of December. First card I have is Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords. This is either a fast communication coming towards you or you understanding something and, and like, you know, going for it and expressing it. Uh, maybe at the beginning of uh, the month. After that, I have the Moon, King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of swords right now in your uh, reading. So I'm thinking that um, in the month of December, it's going to be about mental clarity for you. About here, King of Wands. What do you truly desire? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to go for? Uh, the moon here uh, can uh, represent you in a way, but it is also uh, mostly everything that is in our shadow, everything that is in our unconsciousness, everything that uh, we don't have all the information about. And here with the King of Wands, either you're dealing with a fire sign that um, you feel there's something but there's not enough information and you have to make a decision with the Queen of Swords. Or um, what is the motor of your will? You know, what is um, what gives it the direction is based on your unconscious. On what is hidden inside of you into your deep unconscious emotions and things like that with the Queen of Swords there that asks of us to um, use our mental in a wisdom way in a way that the emotions are processed and the lesson has been pulled out of it like the caterpillar went through that mosh of emotions and transformed into a butterfly that's why she has butterflies on uh, around her there, even on her sword. It's the sword of truth, but also of wisdom. So you see that process there. And after, I have strength. So that is you in your higher self, taming whatever was in your moon. Not pushing it down deeper, but... Um, Making your ego understand that all of these things, yes, they are, but they don't have to, you don't have to react to life. But more uh, charm that part of you uh, with your higher self, in a way, taking the wheel of the car and making the decisions. And at that point, with strength, when we do it, it's like our ego saying, okay, higher self, you know better. I understand. I am surrendering to my higher self. So, how is that going to show up in your month? Here, four cards came with that, uh, under that uh, Knight of Swords. I have the Hangman. So that tells me that uh, maybe that understanding came after a time where you had to look at your situation uh, from a different angle. Uh, maybe you had like a pause time in your life where you had to do that certain reflection where you brought your higher intelligence into your situation in order to get that enlightenment. That enlightenment that is behind the moon there, it's the same enlightenment that is behind his head. That kind of mental un understanding of a situation that is mostly um, hidden, sensed, emotional, invisible. After that I have judgment. 
so that I know that that enlightenment came and you made a judgment. Uh, that kind of haha moment of now I see and I understand, which probably uh, made you pursue your truth there. It made you take a decision of between the ways you've always done things, want, the ways you've always created maybe, uh, pushed your will into a new way, maybe out of your comfort zone. But that's where that understanding brought you. Okay, there's a different way I can create. There's a different way I can manifest something. And there I have the King of Swords. So here, Queen of Swords, it's on our perception. And we based our decision on our per, uh, perception of life, of the, of the events and the things like that. Our choices, our decisions. And here, this is a clear active the active part of us the masculine part of us with the sword that will make that decision strategically so there's really something that you grasp in the month of december maybe some of you have already done it or at the beginning of december or some of you later but the energies are here for you to really grasp something um under our Queen of Swords and the Moon, there is that Ace of Swords. So that clarity, that pure clarity about what is happening uh, inside of you. And here I have with that Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. That can uh, come from family, that tells me. You know, sometimes we are hurt by our family, by um, uh you know, establishment, um, it can be, because the Ten of Pentacles, it's that uh, culmination of something that is passed from one generation to another, that kind of summit of the Pentacle. And here with the Four of Swords, that tells me that maybe in that, uh, there was pain and disappointments in uh, maybe uh, if it doesn't come from family for you, it can come just for, from a thought pattern given by your family. But there's the healing. And the healing is here. See that sort of truth that you understand? And it makes you understand the Tree of Swords, all the disappointments and sadness that you had in your life through a, a spiritual vision of it. Here. He's in the monastery, you know, so the stained glass here. And so that's why from that, from that understanding, that healing from understanding our um, disappointments from the past, you had the strength, therefore, being able to act from your higher self. And here I have the high priestess. So your intuition um, she rules the moon, she rules everything that was hidden in the unconscious and all of that. So instead of having um, your past pains influencing your intuition or your perception uh, in order to make your decisions, here there's a possibility of that mastery of understanding what is invisible so that we can act more consciously. And that understanding, whatever it is uh, for you, seven of wands, this is like, oh my God, now I see it. Now I see what I truly want, what uh, my will is all about, and I'm willing to defend it. I'm, I'm standing on higher grounds right now, and I am willing to fight for what I believe. Here I have the magician, the alchemist in this game. So, see, it's all about your power of manifestation. Of how you manifested before. Did you manifest from an unconscious place? Like your un Our unconscious always has a huge role in what we manifest in reality. And now it's like if you understand what were their parts that explained 
the pains and the disappointments that you have right now that you've manifested from your unconscious and of course the we come here to try and learn and create and manifest from a conscious place to be in total um, power over ourselves. The alchemist represents that. And here uh, they came in two, they separated like that. So I'm going to keep them like this. So here, the first um, bunch that came out. See here, I see you leaving behind um, those past emotions maybe that you carried inside of you in your moon that were not serving you anymore. And you're thinking there's something more out there. I can vibrate emotionally at a higher level, therefore manifest from a higher level. Drop the old way I used to bring myself forward and manifest my soul, manifest my will, align my will, taking things on my shoulders. Ten, end of that cycle that probably was filled with conflict. And here, death. That's the major arcana here. So this is part of your transformation. Leaving conflict. Maybe there was conflict in your house, uh, in your family, with siblings, parents or whatever uh, or for some of you at your workplace that's something that was you know a institution that is there for a long time but here dropping dropping this instead of carrying it inside of you this letting it transform and why are you able to do that because you're gaining that ace of cup that you understand that you have to go get in order to be fulfilled, in, o in order to elevate your uh, emotions, so that when you create here, when we want to manifest from a conscious place, our cup has to be conscious, and it has to be have a capacity to receive, and our sword has to be aligned. Here you're gaining this, you're gaining a straight sword, it is not uh, foggy, it is a clear understanding of who you are and where you want your consciousness, uh, the direction you want your creation to go in a conscious manner. The wand aligned with the universe here in that. Therefore, one's will aligned with the universe. Why? Because it is made from our higher self now. And not from maybe what was hidden in our moon. I'll clarify that. But uh, you see, in order to manifest in a conscious way, all of our elements have to be upright in a way. And at their uh, most conscious vibration. So let's clarify this. I call upon the divine... Oh, yeah, see? You're finishing a cycle with a great understanding about something. Um, I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon my guides. Help me clarify this reading for cancers. For the month of December a better path okay prince of sword what is that great understanding that makes you want to go and act go and cut the head of the dragon there Mm. Four of Pentacle. You're going to go cut out uh, something that uh, you really hold it on to, that you were closed off and holding inside of you, uh, that you did not let flow. You were holding on it. So that could be old grudges that we keep inside of ourselves 
and in a way it, it's uh, not beneficial for us. By cutting it down, we liberate the flow of energy, the flow of uh, vibration. Uh, what is uh, the moon? The moon what was in the moon there influencing what you wanted to manifest and create oh good the world all right so whatever, and see, I have the full right away. So really, there's a big transformation. World is when we finished, we understand. So what was in your moon, there's that understanding and you're starting. So I think you're getting it right at the beginning or maybe you had it at the end of the last month, that understanding of what was holding you back. It, they, they're saying that, the, I mean, you graduated there the world on the moon that means that we understand and we completed a cycle of what was in our unconscious and how it was acting king of uh, wands ah there i have the strength again so now you are manifesting what is driving your willpower is not from something maybe you were holding on to before, but from your higher self. And uh, it has to do, see, there you are, Cancer, going with your heart out there, freeing you and giving you the capacity to bring your heart out there in a higher self manner. Moon. Queen of Swords, ah, you've healed and understood the lessons of your past. Therefore, you've balanced your emotions. Six of Cups. And that's why you can protect with that understanding of balancing your emotion. You have did some healing through understanding. And that's why Six of Cups, Sixes are a balance. Six of Cups a balance of our emotion in the equal give and take of the flow of emotions. Now you have that knowledge, uh, you have that wisdom, and this is from where you perceive uh, reality now. What is strength? What is strength? of pentacle death or death here so that acting from your higher self actually enabled you to let go because here the two of pentacle why we're feeling so emotionally up and down it's because we're holding something that needs to die that needs to you know we're holding on to something that needs to die, that we need to let go in order to manifest from a new place perspective of reality. And so that's why we say it's the dance of Shiva, because uh, we need to be centered and to, like she creates and she destroys in a way, because in order to create something new, we have to make the space for the other one. If we don't do that, we kind of repeat the same loop and our emotions are kind of up and down. For what we put energy in is what is going to grow and, um, and uh, multiply. Okay? So there's, there's what it's transforming. Okay. 
So let's ask, what was that judgment about? Judgment and hangman, what did they have to see differently and that they had the understanding of? Uh, yeah, the sun and the page of uh, wands. See, we had the king of wands now. Um, page of wands. What is my passion? What is my drive? What is the fire that propels me forward? Uh, directing what I want and desire. Now it's clear, totally clear. The sun having clarity on what was, in a way, um, choosing the direction of my will. So you will not be creating out of your unconsciousness with things that weren't resolved and, and uh, things you were holding on to. Now you see clearly the sun uh, from where you were manifesting. Show me that Ace of Sword. So that brought you to a point of, okay, do I do things like before? Or now do I go maybe outside of my comfort zone, but it's going to be a much more conscious uh, way of bringing my will out there. Two of wands. Here I have Sagittarius. Uh, we are in Sagittarius uh, season, temperance. So that clarity is, you get it now, because now is the divine timing for you to finish that cycle and understand that. It is there for you, if you want it, free will. These are the energies that are here for cancers. So, getting the clarity, and you're getting the clarity also that helps you mature your emotions. Um, that's why you're healing there. It could have been something, uh, a way of doing things uh, that were passed on from one generation, that you've learned as a child, that you've learned um, from past uh, earths and, uh, and things like that, or from seeing your parents or whatever. Now, divine timing, uh, the brewing has been done, you can grasp that understanding. There's a divine timing for getting enlightenment. Uh, just think sometimes we read something somewhere. It makes some sense. But then we reread it. Uh, it comes back to us like two years after or something like that. And oh my God, does it mean completely something else than the first time we read it. Now we see the whole depth of it. Because... We have matured our emotions and that information can be clear and we actually get it now. And this is like something like that in a sense that maybe for a while you were really wondering why certain things happened in your life and all of that. And you get that clarity on the source behind the way you were making decisions and putting your will out there. And because of that, then you understand maybe the people you attracted in your life. Um, maybe the people or the projects you went for or the decisions you made that brought you disappointments and, and, and heartache. And that's why you can heal them now. now. They were part of your experience as a soul in that 3D reality that we all came here for. But now you get it. Huh? I lost an earring. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't seem to... Uh... Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, all right. Now, the High Priestess. What does your soul was talking about? I mean, it's a huge cleanup of 
the invisible, the, everything that is ruled by the moon. So I'm not surprised to see the high priestess here. Because it's like now your intuition will be much more guided by your higher self, you know. High Priestess for Cancer, Spirit. Hermit. Yes, because you will have, and see, we have the Magician again. Because now you will have found your truth and your own light. And this is what is going to guide you in the future. And see, he has a wand. He has his willpower in front of him of what brings him forward. But with wisdom, gray on the side is wisdom. That's why usually the Queen of Swords is on the side. And uh, that's his inner light. The truth he has found inside. The sun that he found in his moon. That enlightenment. That is what is going to guide you. And it's funny because in the travelings of um, the fool around the tarot, the hermit went to see the high priestess and found the truth within himself and therefore is using that to guide him. And this is exactly what you're doing. And that is what is going to give you a true power of manifesting what you want. And so, once you understand that, of course, oh my God, this is where my will is going to be aligned now. I get it. I understand it. Seven of Wands. Ah, there you go. I get it. I understand it. See, on the side wisdom i get it i understand it because i see clearly i am welcoming um because all the feminine uh, cards are the ones that allow it's the perception and what we want to attract the masculine we go out there and act in that archetype here your perception is clear of course because you made a clear decision here and so your it's a decision and it's fighting for now what you want to create, but from a wise uh, perspective, from uh, what was maybe the mush in the cocoon, uh, that uh, things maybe you were holding on to, past pains, past disappointments, and now it is in a butterfly. It has turned into wisdom. alchemist now you can manifest eight of swords uh, empress that tells me that um, because there's so much clarity here uh, in that sense the eight of swords it's like if it's in reverse so gaining your power to get yourself unstuck because maybe before, all of those disappointments and hurts and things like that kind of prevented you, building kind of a cage around you, uh, preventing you from uh, being able to uh, go out there and do something and create something. Give me another one. Ah. Six of Pentacle. Yes, because now you're leaving all of your baggage behind. We see it there. And we un you understand now um, how to invest yourself. Who to give your energy to. And not from a place maybe of lack. Five of Pentacle. Where, um, you know, when we have inside of us and we lived uh, a lot of Five of Pentacle, like... Um, not feeling we are enough, that we have enough, being left out in the cold, not supported, 
and all of that. It's very hard to manifest um, something equal and balanced. And sometimes we prefer uh, or we uh, undo whatever we try to uh, manifest because we will manifest somebody that represents that, uh, that uh, shows us that Five of Pentacles all the time, you know? Um, and if the Five of Pentacles was hidden in your moon and you were holding on to all the times that you were left out in the cold, not supported and all of that, Understanding that when you create from that, that's what you create. I think that's something like that that you've understood. Now it's the you're leaving this behind. You're taking back your power in a way of inertia, or maybe you just were stuck in a, in a situation there. And being able to create from a balanced place. We have two sixes here. So balanced... <laughs> emotionally and balance on the sense of energy like now you are only going to give what you have in overflow not sacrificing yourself for people that will just take it and leave but from your overflow and therefore you will receive from filled people attract people that are filled and will give you back from their overflow, not from a place of sacrifice. Nobody wants a gift from a sacrifice because you feel cheap when you get it, you know? So, this is... Uh, okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> pull the cards here. Sorry. Okay, that's Mr. Black Body, by the way. So, here are death. Uh, transforming here we have our six of uh, our eight of cups ten of ones finishing a um, conflicting way of manifesting of bringing our fire out there and all of that transforming it <laughs> and accepting the transformation of it really really buddy go here okay or over there but find a solution come come here that's good. Here is good. Yeah. All right. But let's uh, check out death. Check. Death. Spirit, talk to me about death. Emperor. We had the Empress that wanted to come out earlier. So really your way to be, your divine masculine to be out there. And also the transformation of your divine masculine. So that means uh, our divine masculine, we will attract the type of masculine that we have reflected inside of us. Here, this is the transformation of your divine masculine, of how you used to manage and and uh, because he is all the kings so the one that nurtures emotionally the one that is passionate that goes and gets things the one that uh, can uh, uh, take care financially and be stable and engaged and the one that has total integrity in his communication and all of that uh, so here, all of that is transforming the way that you are acting out there. Therefore, the masculine, the divine masculine you will attract in your life as a friend, as a lover, as a whatever, a husband, will be reflecting this Ace of Cups. of cups Oop, there it is two of cups see what uh, out of the decision you took now you are going to attract towards you a beautiful union um, 
and maybe that's why we had like the page of cups here uh, a beautiful union uh, ace of cup at a new level that what you have you're used to this is beautiful because now you are going to manifest out if out of a balanced place and understanding your part in the because in order to get the most um, the more we are conscious the more we take responsibility for everything in our lives and therefore uh, we get uh, more powerful in the way we manifest also because we manifest from a conscious place from an enlightened place and so this is what you are doing now when it comes to the people that you bring in your life and you connect with of uh, what they give you know in the two of cups those two people have cups in their hands so what is in the cup that you were receiving from other people there's going to be a change in that yes you're going to get some very loving uh, energies coming towards you <laughs> because you're going to manifest it all right so on this um i'm gonna wish you a beautiful month of december um uh, yeah oh i'm gonna call this um uh, manifesting from a conscious place or uh my god because you you all you're gonna end up with um with a beautiful union so yeah uh, new love i don't know huh <laughs> all right anyway so don't forget the contest uh please uh you know subscribe share and like i read all of the comments it touches me uh, a lot and um, also thank you for the ones of you that gave donations you don't know how much this helps and this month again i'm gonna do a special ceremony for the <laughs> for the new moon and the full moon <laughs> in order to give you back and um, so merry christmas have a beautiful uh winter solstice <laughs> i'm gonna try and get get that all right yes okay so i'm just gonna move that here namaste and i'll see you i'll announce the winner next month so see you in the month of january all right <laughs> thank you bye bye